Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex from Part-Time First Art, and on this video, we're gonna talk about sew-ons on your ACUs. Check this out. I see a lot of confusions regarding sew-ons on your uniforms. And since the DA PAM 67-1 was just released in 2017, I wanted to clarify a few pieces. Although, none of this information is brand new to this version of the 670-1. Let's get started with the name tape and your rank. So if you decide to sew on uh, one of your name tapes or the rank, all three must be sewn on on your blouse, on your ACU. And to clarify, the ACU stands for Army Combat Uniform, not to be confused with the patterns of the uniform, which include UCP, OCP, and OEFCP. And if you don't know what those three stand for, just Google it. So I say again, if you put on your name, your US Army, or your rank, as a sew-on, all three must be sewn on. However, if all three are sewn on, you do not need to sew on your skill badges. That's your combat action badge or your airborne and air assault pathfinder, so on and so forth. If you do sew on one of those patches, you do need to sew on all of them. You cannot mix between a pin-on and a sew-on badge. So look at your uniform in two different parts. There are these items here on your chest and then the, there are these items here closer to your shoulders. This must all be the same, and this must all be the same. And remember, they cannot have pin-on badges while deployed or in the field environment. Now that we cover the blouse, let's have a little conversation about your patrol cap. Your patrol cap is looked at differently from your blouse. So, which means that if you have your rank and your name tapes sewn on in your blouse, you do not need to have the items on your patrol cap sewn on. You can still use the Velcro and the pin-on on your patrol cap. You do not need to have your name tape sewn on. You can still use the Velcro and vice versa. If you choose to sew on your name tape in the back of your patrol cap, you do not need to sew on your rank. Both of these items can be mixed and they do not need to match what's on your blouse. I won't make any recommendations on what you should do, but I find that if you're an E5 and above, you might as well just sew everything on because the changes to your rank are much slower than if you are an E4 and below. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you haven't seen my other videos on promotion and retirement, please make sure to check it out. Also, check me out on social at Part-Time First Sergeant with a hashtag Drill Weekend. And let's continue this conversation. Thank you.